Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be picking some orders. The other day I did the car boot sale which was the first one back since lockdown. That's all been listed now. I still have quite a bit to list uh, that I've picked up recently since then. Uh, my sales have gone whoop through the roof. So uh, I think yesterday we did like 250 in sales or something and I've also got some of the sales from the day before uh because i did an early postage so the ones that came in in the evening have not been packed up and sent yet so it's currently what is it? is it wednesday today mate i'm still losing track of days with all this uh lockdown stuff catching up with me but yeah we're gonna go through some of these orders and uh pick them for you so we're gonna start with a video game oh turn you around as you can see our video game section is kind of growing again which is really nice so this is like nearly four stacks deep look at that so we gotta find a game in there uh what are we looking for we are looking for ratchet and clank three so it's not in there uh da, 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 da. it is not in there there it is ratchet and clank silver case indeed remove them back I need a better system. I need a better system, but I don't have one. If you have a better system and it works, let me know. Yes, Ratchet and Clank 3. Uh, we picked up a huge bundle of games with a couple of PlayStation 2 consoles from Facebook the other week. Uh, we paid like £40 for two consoles, all of these games. Uh, the consoles are actually down in there they've not been listed yet because i don't have the cable to test whether they work on the tv they power on they eject the disc and all that good stuff i need to get the cables to um to plug them into the tv so i can actually test whether the games work and that but they should be fine anyway this has gone out it's sold for five pounds and two pound postage i believe it's in there yes it is with the manual lovely jubbly first one of the day we sold a train but they've not yet paid we have sold another train which i need to remember where i put it is it in there is it in there no where did i put you um that's a good question actually where did i put this mm -hmm, mm -hmm. must be around here somewhere okay Ah, here we are. We got it. So you would have seen this in the car boot pickup video. If you've not watched it yet, go check it out. We got some crazy uh, buys in there. Uh, but yeah, this one we picked up for 50p. It holds, I think, 12 Tommy Trackmaster trains. Has a nice lock on the front. And your child or whoever has this can walk to their friend's house with all of their trains. We picked this up for a whopping 50 pence. And she has sold, or he, because he's Tommy, uh, for £15 plus £3 postage. So that's great. Ah, we have sold a Doctor Who figure number 35. Now, I will pick the, uh, the toy, uh, the manual that goes along with it, or the magazine that goes along with it. I'll pick that later off cam because that takes a while to get out of its binder. But we are looking for number 35 in here. And I believe it's a Dalek. So we're looking for a Dalek. That's 39. 25. 35. There we go. That's the one, I think. Let me just double check. Uh, we are looking for number 35. Ironside Dalek. There we go. And that one has sold for... £12 plus £3 postage and like I said it comes with its magazine so that will be packed up all nicely with the magazine as well and that will ship off to its new owner. These are all brand new by the way they've not been taken out of their packages as you can see they're all still strapped in there which is really nice. Next up again you would have seen this in the car boot pickup video and some of you are going to be like wow that's insane. We picked up some plush toys in fact we picked up these three plush toys if I can set these up without them falling. Come on. So that's Tails. And then that's Amy. 
And then that there is Princess Peach from Mario. So, uh, yes, yeah, so this one's been listed for £35. This does not have tags like this. The tag is missing, but it's from the same set. And this one has been listed for 50, I believe, or 45 of the tags. I can't remember exactly what I listed it for. Might be higher than that, actually. This one is pretty rare, and with the tags, it's crazy. So, uh, yeah, so this one has been listed as well. I believe the Princess Peach was listed at, like, 35. Um, but, yeah, this one has sold £35 plus £15 postage. This one is going abroad, uh, so this will be going tracked and signed. Uh, to its new owner, which I believe is somewhere within Europe. So he's paid £50 for this, 35 for the item, and 15 for the postage. So what you want to be looking out for with these um, is the tags. So this one here, what you want to be looking for is Sega Prize Europe. These are really, really rare. When you find these, they're worth good money. This was listed and it sold the same uh, evening. So I listed this yesterday, or the night before yesterday. And it sold uh, yesterday, so 35 plus 15. And uh, the other ones all have crazy amounts of watchers and viewers and stuff on them, so I'm pretty sure they'll go pretty soon as well. Uh, but yeah, we paid one pound for this, one pound into 35. Same, same for the Amy and um, Princess Peach was 50p, so two pound 50 we paid for them three, and that one has gone for 35. So this one here and this uh, Tommy. Uh, Trackmaster, Thomas, whatever it's called, uh, Case has paid for the entire lot of stuff I got from the car boot on Sunday. So I paid fifty pound for the entire, uh, uh, the entire buy um, that I left with, and yeah, this is, these two have paid for that. So we're already uh, in profit for everything else that we uh, sell. So that is great. Next up, we have a Sony PlayStation controller. Uh, I picked up some controllers with these lots. There was actually a bunch of four. Uh, two will be staying for the consoles. And then there was two crystal ones, a blue one and a white one or a crystal clear one. Um, if I can get them out without breaking them, there we go. Okay, so this crystal controller has sold for 15 plus three pound posters this is a fully working uh, sony playstation 2 controller this is a uh, dualshock 2 um yep genuine sony as you can see the crystal blue i don't know whether that's its technical color technical color technical name the crystal but i know with other consoles if there's like the see-through they call it crystal so that's what i listed it as anyway um and yeah, £15 plus £3 postage, and we paid £20 for the console and four controllers. So, yeah, we've done pretty well on that one, as you guys can imagine. Next up, we have a rare orange Thought Park pin brooch, uh, which is quite interesting because I'm actually going to Thought Park in a week or so. So I may be purchasing some more pins while I'm there. Uh, but let me just grab this out of the bag. We've got to go in here and look for it. It's probably this one here. There she is. So this is a brand new uh, sealed, as you can see, pin badge, enamel pin, whatever, uh, from Fort Park. And the orange one was rare. So I picked a couple up last season and they've been slowly selling. So that's gone out for £5 plus postage, which is nice. Right, next up we have a couple of puzzles. I picked these puzzles up from the charity shop the other week. Don't think I got it in a video. Maybe I did, I can't remember. Um, but these are special puzzles because these are for uh, the elderly. So these puzzles are for people that have like dementia or early onset Alzheimer's and stuff like that. Um, they're big puzzles with big plastic pieces so they can't be damaged or anything. Um, and I sold two of these, so I have to find the correct ones. Right, so this is the first one that went out. I paid 99p for this one, and this one has sold for £7.50. Had this one up for £10, I took an offer. Um, when it comes down to stuff like this, when it's helping someone with, like, old age or something like that, if someone sends me a reasonable offer, I'm going to take it, because obviously this is hard times for people. You know, when you have to buy a special puzzle for a family member to try and, like, reignite um, some sort of memories and stuff like that, it's, it's got to be tough, right? 
Uh, I'm not going to haggle with them over a couple of pounds. £7.50, that's a good price. Uh, for me, it's a good price for them because these are expensive when they're brand new. Uh, so yeah, that one has gone out to them. So hopefully that helps in any way it can uh, with the person that it's for. Hopefully they enjoy it. I'm sure they will. Uh, next up, we have a puzzle which I need to find. Uh, this is a brand new Disney puzzle and I can't remember where I put it. Um, must be around here somewhere. Oh, there she is. She's right back there. I don't know whether you can see it. Okay. So I actually picked this up from the car book the other day as well, but my camera was off. I paid £5 for a brand new pair of work boots, which are here. Steel, tap, uh, steel cap boots. And he threw in this puzzle uh, for free. So £5 I paid. And this one has gone out for 12 So we've already made our money back and... We still got the boots to sell, and those what well, those boots have been listed for twenty nine ninety nine. Whether I'll get that or not, I don't know. But yeah, brand new and sealed uh, Jungle Book Disney puzzle right there. Next up, we have another one of these puzzles. This is another one, but it's a uh, uh, bigger one, I think. So this one is this one here. This one is brand new. The other one has been used. Uh, this one's brand new and this one fetched £12 plus £3 posted. So basically what these are is like, as you can see in there, like they are plastic pieces. So you can like spill stuff on them and they don't get damaged. You can like try and bend them and they won't bend, I presume. Um, but yeah, it comes with this little booklet as well uh, by a company called Active Minds. So, you know, just trying to keep people's uh, minds active for as long as possible and that one went for 12. Next up we have another puzzle uh, this is a rather large one it's actually over here Puzz 3D you would have seen me pick this up at the car boot the other day for one pound so the guy told me that this was complete so I've listed this as complete with merit um, which is probably a stupid thing to do because uh, there's bound to be a piece missing, but I didn't have time, I will admit, to sit there and count them all. Uh, so I listed it as complete. It's used, obviously used complete. Um, if this ends up having missing pieces, I will sort it out with the buyer. I'll either take the return and give them a refund or I will, you know, give them a partial. But I'm pretty sure that this will be complete. Um, fingers crossed because it's sold. Uh, for £15 plus £3 postage. Uh, sometimes I take a risk on stuff like this. I just didn't have time to count 952 pieces. Um, so, you know, I took the risk on this and hopefully it will pay off. Uh, if there's a piece missing, then hopefully we can sort it out, but I doubt that will happen. If it does, I'll keep you guys posted on the situation. Uh, but yeah, that went out for 15 and that again was another one from the car boot sale. Next up, we have another car boot by, which has gone out as well. And this is a frustration. Uh, again, I paid a pound for this. Um, and this has gone out for £15. So another £15 sale right there. Happy days. Don't you love it when you buy stuff and it sells instantly? Oh, another one from the car boot sale. I picked up this Halo 2 uh, tin cased, still tin cased limited collector's edition. Uh, I paid £3.50 for this and a Nintendo 3DS uh, cart. Um, and this one has sold for £13 plus postage, which is fantastic. Uh, I sold some hand warmers, two times hand warmers. And I do not remember where they are, so I'm going to have to find them off cam. Uh, they're like really, really old stock. Um, so I'm going to have to try and find them. Next up, we have sold a... Jackass the game on PlayStation 2 and I believe that is like way back there and I've now like completely Filled in this section with all of my stuff that has sold so uh, I'm just gonna have to find that again off camera, but yeah, that is everything that has sold yesterday and uh, a little bit of the day before so we did pretty well um, I listed so much stuff like I don't even remember how much stuff like I took a whole day just to photograph and list all of that stuff and a load of other stuff that I had to list as well. That's all gone up and the sales have represented that. Like we have sold loads of stuff from that car boot already, uh, like nearly a hundred pounds worth, I think. 
uh, give or take, um, and some other stuff. So yeah, that, that car boot was really worth it, really well, uh, worked out really well. And uh, we will be going back there again this week. Uh, the week after, I will not be there because, like I said, I'm at Thorpe Park, the uh, the roller coaster place, the theme park. Um, but yeah, next week we will be there, and then obviously the week after we won't. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed today's video, please hit that subscribe button and the like, and uh, hit that bell as well so you know exactly when the next video is out on the channel. I got hiccups for some reason. I don't know why. But anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching today. Uh, I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.